good morning and welcome to the Mike Show for Tuesday, June 4, 2024. 61 degrees at 9.15 a.m. and I'm your host, Vak Kamal, and I'm a sinner and I am powerless and life is unmanageable. Humility and gratitude are the keys to life. It's always today and it's always now. My life is not my own. My will will not be done. There's no reality but God, and the only thing we have to do is die. So how are we going to live today? And I hope and pray I can live from my heart a life based on faith and not fear. We're sitting out on the uh, front porch today. We had light rain falling, humidity at 96%. So I'm, ha 96%. I'm having a little trouble breathing. Yeah. Got up early as usual, let the loves out, saw that it was raining, so just went and laid back down. I was joined by Elsie and Michael. They purred me, and then I got up and came down, and I've been hanging out out here, reading our readings, drinking coffee. Had to spin around the yard already. Sully and Max came out with me. I don't know where Sully is. Max went back in the house. I think he's on Audie's bed in the living room. And speaking of Audie, on this day, there's Mackie, and there's Audie's bed in the living room. Um, on this day in 2018, we lost Autumn. After she had had a stroke and went blind, I think in, was it late March or April? And she recovered from the stroke fairly well, and she did all right being blind. But uh, and she just, I think she had another one, and I remember that last last night with her. I knew that it was time to let her go, and she kept coming up to me and curling up by me, and and she'd wander across the room and just laid with her on the floor and slept. And I remember putting the, the movie Casablanca in the DVD player and just sitting there with her. and It was a tough decision, but I know it was the right thing to do. So anyways, right around this time on that day, we met Dr. Greenfield at the vet's office and that was that. So, we finished our coffee and readings, like I mentioned. I think we're going to read this one because this is kind of where I'm at today. The touchstones. And it is the reading for June 4. And the quote is Psalm 139, chapter 139, verse 14. I will thank you because I am marvelously made. Your works are wonderful and I know it well. Some days we feel bad about ourselves. Perhaps there is no real reason except a mood has come over us. Moodiness is a remnant of our past, or perhaps we feel guilty or ashamed or hurt. We feel blue, we feel grouchy toward ourselves or toward others around us and the world. This is a time to turn it over to our higher power. We are children of the universe. We are loved. Our Creator has endowed us with marvelous strengths and potentials. Today may be a day we allow ourselves to be carried along by the love of our higher power. If we reach out, we will feel the presence of the Spirit in our contact with other people. We need not try so hard. We only need to pray for openness within ourselves to feel the love of God. I pray for help today to renew the feeling within that God loves me and never abandons me. Yeah. It's kind of where I'm at, not entirely, but kind of where I'm at, and I'm there often, or I wouldn't be far come all. <laughs> oh, boy, so. There goes cousin slash neighbor John. Oh, so I don't know. I'm looking at one weather app. And it says it's going to be 84 degrees, and the other app on the other phone says it's only going to be 70. And it really makes me wonder how there can be such disparity. Is that the right word? 
was reading what passes for news locally, and one of the stories I read, two men were arrested with nearly $37,000 worth of stolen stuff. It says the men were from Florida. About $35,000 of that stolen stuff was taken from Home Depots, six different Home Depots, and I forget where the other store was, but the sheriff's deputy was responsible for arresting them. The uh, state police and the border patrol were involved in identifying these men who they said were from Florida. But once I saw that the border patrol was involved, all I could think of was a couple of uh, President Potatoes. What do we call them? It's people f seeking asylum in this country to come and start a new way of life. Quite, quite the entrepreneurs they are, too. Wherever they came from, they're, they were the pride of their country, I'm sure. And they were just going to steal all that stuff and then go into business for themselves. So you got to admire and respect their entrepreneurial uh, attitude and skills. There's Sullivan. I don't know if that made sense or not. There's that Sully. Come on, Bubby. Oh, yeah. There was a couple other things I looked at that really turned my gut, but had to do with the FBI marching with badges and weapons exposed wearing rainbow t-shirts. The FBI logo is in the rainbow and there's something just drastically wrong with that but I guess it fits in because I, from what I've read throughout the years Mr. Hoover liked to wear a dress now and then so hey whatever. Uh, recap from yesterday we we did get out to the lake and uh, to the 8 billion of you who are not tuned in, was it last week or the week before, someone left some plants on my steps. And it turned out it was a neighbor two or three houses down, I guess two. And he said they were elm trees. So I planted them out at my niece's place yesterday. And... Uh, got the dock ready to be put in the lake and called the guy about doing that but he hasn't gotten back to me yet so I don't know what's going on there came home and things cooled off yesterday it it's, didn't get all that warm I mean when I was out at the lake and it was 63 degrees I think uh, and sunny it was really warm out there but once that wind picked up it got cold and when I got home I didn't do a whole lot we read to the cats last night. Uh, I got a phone call in the afternoon about someone who was looking for a missing cat. And somehow through the video we made the other day when the yellow and white cat was in the Smith's yards, that got all twisted and convoluted around to possibly being this woman's cat that she was missing. And she was heartbroken, but someone sent me a link to her Facebook page. And, uh, yeah felt bad and I told her no that was a yellow and white cat and I'm in town and this woman was out in Heron which is you know the the the, the little I don't even know what you call it, it's not even a village but it's about 10 miles or 11 miles west of town so there's a post office there and KT party store and there's a restaurant and you know it's basically a drive by but the whole area is considered Heron and Aaron Road and blah 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 but she was missing her kitty and I hope she finds it because she was devastated and I know that feeling anyway we're going to take a break I've been yammering for almost 10 minutes you want to go in Sully? you want to go back in Bubby? Hmm. welcome back and I don't really mean that and I didn't mean it when I said good morning either oh yeah Sully you want to come back out? Come on, bud. There's Ed Sullivan. Come on and sit with me, buddy. What are you doing? Can you look at the camera? Can you look at the camera? What are you trying to do? Oh, Bubby. There's Ed Sully. 
So, did I mention this? Yesterday I got a text from my sister and she informed me that she put some money on my account at Marine Market. She does that for me several times a year, bless her soul. Just a gift. Anyway, um, what else happened yesterday that we can, wanted to mention? I didn't get down to check that car out for that test ride. Maybe we'll do that today. Probably should go get some groceries today also. I don't like to just go and, you know, like fill up a cart. And I, it gets me out of the house and gets me interacting with people. Um, oh, yeah, I remember what I wanted to say. You know, I, I talk about things I'm going to do, and sometimes it takes me a while to get around and doing them, but I firmly believe when you commit to saying and doing something with or for somebody, I do it, I do it in a reasonable amount of time, and nobody's got a light of fire under my ass to remind me. So I like throwing that out there every once in a while. Be accountable, you know, when you make a commitment with someone. And there's another thing that came came to mind too is spontaneity. There's very little of that, it seems, in people's lives anymore. And a while ago this woman wrote this article in the, the local paper about staving, saving time in your day for uh, spontaneous behavior. And uh, I think the word she really wanted was unstructured, because unstructured, if you're planning on being spontaneous, it kind of defeats the uh, definition of the word spontaneous, at least the way I understand it. And so anyway, what else did I want to say? Something about uh, W popped up, and he was, made a comment about Ukraine and Iraq and what he did there. And tied that in with the illegal invasion of Ukraine. But when Potato got elected, all I could think of was back to the, the glory days of W. And I load that, man, like Hunter Thompson load, load Richard Nixon back when that invasion all happened and 9-11 and all that and the smoke and mirrors around all that. And we see how that played out in Afghanistan 20 years later, how quickly that country went right back to being what it was after all the money and sacrifice of lives was an important thing uh, sad you know that it was being propped up for 20 years and like I mentioned it fell that quickly <laughs> anyway and then we got the the, uh, the Obama years and Things, much to my surprise and delight, and I enjoyed, got fairly good for a while from 2016 to 2020, despite the opposition's efforts to do everything they could to stop that man from uh, putting this country first. And now we've had potato for almost four years, and everything's still Trump's fault. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what got me going on this, but I think that's about all we got. I have no idea what I'm going to do today. And so from the cold gray ashes and coals of my cold black heart, my broken, beaten, battered, bruised, bloody, burdened, empty, hollow, cracked, shattered, hopeless, forsaken, forlorn, bitter, angry, tired, resentful, twisted, convoluted, confused, grieving, happy, ungrateful soul, piss off, happy, terrific Tuesday, and thanks for not tuning in.